So hello everyone, welcome to our workshop. Is it Boxing Day? Usually we were out for shopping, but due to current conditions, we all have to get busy indoors and find different ways of entertainment. We are on our seventh workshop from the program online seasonal uh, art uh, classes. And this is quite extraordinary. We have amazing audience, good reviews from everyone. Many people enjoyed. Thank you so much. Uh, the project has been organized by our classes with the support of Arts Council and the Fund uh, Reco uh, Culture Recovery Fund. Um, today we are going to work with a young artist. Her name is Siona Bandari and um, she won many art competitions. I think I can mention the continents <laughs> because the countries are way too many. She won in America, she won in Asia, she won uh, Europe um, and many, many countries. I think all the competi art competitions that she entered, I think she won all of them. If I'm not wrong, you can tell me, Siona. <laughs> mm, yeah. <laughs> And recently she has been awarded Slough Youth Award is a very prestigious award for uh, local artists in UK that they get a massive achievements in uh, their area. Um, so just uh, before we start, uh, if everyone can get ready the materials for the workshop, we will need a card paper. So first of all, just a plain card paper, any color you want. And then we need quilling paper that should look like this. So there are stripes of paper, one centimeter length. And uh, we are gonna work with these ones and we are gonna stick on our uh, colored paper. Uh, if you don't have these ones, you can cut uh, with scissor. Just measure one centimeter uh, yeah, width for each stripe, and then you can start cutting different stripes. You should have around five colors. We need as well uh, glue, can be PVA glue or uh, normal paper glue. Uh, we need a wooden stick or tooth stick, or I think a pencil should work as well. See when I will tell us more. Uh, about the house rule, we'd ask everyone to keep your, uh, themselves on mute. If you have any questions, you can write in the chat box. Um, you can raise your hand or just unmute and ask us the question. Um, and um, we, if you, by the end of the workshop, if you guys want to share your artwork, you can do on our Instagram page by tagging us at Art Classes Group. Uh, you are going to receive an uh, email from us with feedback. We really want to hear your views if you enjoyed the workshop. So next year we can organize the same uh, kind of free event. We can support more artists and even, you know, expand the project. And uh, yes, with all being said, I think, Siona, over to you. Thank you, Mary. So... Hello everyone, my name is Siona Bandari and today I will be showing you some techniques of quilling and we will be making a floral beautiful card today. So the first thing you will need is a, a piece of card and you have to fold it in half so it will look like this. You can just do that. So it will be... Um... We are going to decorate a card. Um, yeah. Wow. Nice. Brilliant. Uh, so the first thing you need to know about quilling is um, how it works. So quilling is uh, rolling and kind of manipulating a piece of like strip of paper to make different shapes like circles, triangles, hearts, leaf kind of shapes and that kind of thing. So uh, I'll teach you how to first make a circle. So um, if you can't do it with a stick, you can. I'll show you how to do it with a hand as with your hands as well. So this is a stick method. First, you have to start wrapping it around, just all around the little stick. This. Thank you. 
Then after you've uh, rolled it a whole strip of paper around, uh, you just take it out slowly without um, messing the whole coil up. Then you can see that it's made a circle here. So now you can get your glue and just put it on the end of the paper. And then you will just wrap it around again so it sticks. And then you've got your first shape here, which is a circle. Um, sorry, I, have, I just have a question for everyone. Can anyone, can everyone hear Siona? Because we have some questions where they can't hear Siona. Can anyone just uh, unmute and tell us? We if can that's... hear, but um, yes. the visual is not very clear. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. I was telling to see on obvious at the beginning. Um, Maybe light a uh, table lamp or something? Uh, or, yeah, or Siona, you can use uh, like uh, if you use more contrasting color. So if you have white paper, you can use a colored uh, stripe, more color, colorful one. So we can see the stripes. Okay, I'll just. Yeah. Um, yeah. So for anyone who can't hear, the, the, the sound is okay. Um, I'll just... Is it clearer now, the color here? Yes, Siona, yes, yes. The, the colorful part, yes, we can see. Okay, so uh, that was the stick method. So the next method is if you can't do it with a stick, then uh, you can use your hands as well. So how it works is you get the corner of the paper and you just like bend it a little bit. And then from there, you just wrap it around slowly. Just that so you don't um, squash a piece of paper and then it creates another shape. How many of the circles do we need, uh, Siona? I would only need one for this um, card, so. Yeah. For both the techniques, the ending where you glue the end, it's the same for both of them. So you can get your glue again and just put the glue at the end of the paper and then just glue it so it became the circle. Is it going to be tight or a little bit loose when we are tying it with glue? It should be more tight, but if you can, um, you can also like just let go of it a little bit so it becomes loose. Okay. That's also another technique that you should know how to make it a bit more loose so it looks a bit more bigger and more spaced out.
Then uh, when you want to stick the circle on, because this is going to be like the middle of like the flower that we're making, you get one side of the circle. Uh, you put the glue like all over that side and then you stick it where you want it to be. Sweet. So I'm going to start making another shape, which is going to be the petals of the flower. So the, you do the same thing again, like I showed you the technique for how to make in a circle. You start by making a circle and then you have to uh, kind of use your hands to pinch it to make it like a leaf kind of shape. So just roll it around in your hands or in your, on your stick. When you're making the petal, uh, it is uh, compulsory to kind of let go of it. So it becomes loose and so then that will make it more bigger and more full. A bit this kind of length. And then you get your glue again and put the glue on the edge. And then stick it so it makes a loose shape. So now to make it um, look like a petal, you have to get um, the side of the whole shape that you made right now and just pinch it like that. And it will start to look more like a kind of petal. Can you show how to make the petal again? Yeah, sure. So, uh, you get the edge, put it around your stick or in your hands, you start wrapping it around just like you do with a circle. After you've wrapped it all around, just let go of it so that it becomes bigger. You see. And then just take your glue and on the edge of the paper that's remaining, glue, put some glue on it. and stick it onto the rest of the coil. And after you've done that, you get one edge 
and you just slightly pinch it. So now it'll kind of look like this. Okay. After you've like kept making your petals, you can just start sticking them onto like around the circle that we just made. So just get the bottom of the petal and just put the glue on it. And then just stick it to the side. So stay in place and then you keep making that petal shape and it will look like a flower then. You can use different colors to me, so you don't have to do like the exact same colors that I'm doing right now. So just like that, by using all the strip of papers and the techniques that I've taught you, you can make this flower here. So I'm going to just show you now another shape, which will be for the actual leaf this time. So I'll just bring out strip of paper. So you keep doing the same method for each shape. You just wrap it around whatever you have, the stick, or if it doesn't work, your hands. Just keep wrapping it around. take it out and then just let go of it and get the glue 
and just put it on the edge of the strip of paper. And then stick it on to the other strip. So right now it just looks like a circle. Now I'm just gonna turn it into a leaf. So we get this time we have to do both the sides. We have to pinch them to make them more pointy. So we're just gonna pinch this side and then pinch this side. So now it looks more like a leaf shape rather than a petal. This is like a proper craft, uh, Siona. Yeah. <laughs> everyone got the skill, guys. <laughs> it's really nice to watch. Yeah, everyone got the shapes of petals and leaves. Yeah, I can see everyone is working. We really want to see your works, guys, by the end. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I can see from uh, Rabia. Very nice. Very nice, guys. So also, um, underneath a flower, we have to also make a stem. So just, this is going to be like really long. So you can just kind of cut it in half or just rip it in half. And just... Stick it to one of the edge of the petals, so it looks like it's kind of coming behind out of it. So it kind of look like that. Just glue on the edge. Stick it like that. And keep it a bit bent because you'll have more like stems and things coming in right now. And then just glue the other edge so it sticks in place. And it should be vertical, not like horizontal, not like lying on the page. It should be like coming out of the page. Now for the green leaves, all you can do is on this stem that you've probably just put on or you're about to put on, just take your glue and put it on the pointy edge and around it. But also just try to put it where you're going to actually lay it down. It's like a rough area on the paper. So it doesn't fall off because it will most likely not be able to handle this pointy part. And just stick it on there. So right next to this stem.
you do that with a stem as well. If it's not sticking properly, then just put glue, like a line of glue where the strip is going and just slide down on that so it might stick better. This is a very intense workshop. <laughs> it's the quietest we had so far. <laughs> Everyone is really focusing. You can make about um, four or five of these leaves and then we'll move on to the next part of the whole flower. Uh, Siona, so we have a question um, yeah. uh, from someone. I bought a quilling kit. What or how do you use the comb for? Uh, as there were no instructions in the kit. So what comb? Is it a comb in the kit? Um. Is a comb? Because I know you, you got a quilling kit as well. Yeah, I didn't really get any comb or anything. Or it's just the point, just the pointy uh, tool, is it? Yeah, I just have this one here. So yeah, and the pointy one is just to roll the paper around. Yeah, so you put like a little bit of that paper. There's like this gap between the pointy thing oh, right. you put it inside oh, right. it and then you wrap around it oh right so it's a different type it's not just the uh, yeah like a pin yeah, yeah. brilliant So you now how many how many leaves? Uh, you can make we? you can make um four or three.
Which, which glue are you using, uh, Siona? Is PVA glue or? Uh... Yeah, I'm using PVA glue. Do you think is it better PVA glue than uh, the stick glue or doesn't make a difference? Um, I would say that PVA glue would be a bit more better, but if you have glue stick, it's also fine. I think PVA glue is also a little bit stronger, is it then? Uh... Yeah. So I used to use like glue stick and then I've now seen that they kind of fall out some of the parts. So then I stopped using it. I started using PVA. Just gonna make one more and then we can move on to the next step. I can see some works, uh, Yanani, very nice. She done a uh, yellow flower. Nice, nice. Very nice, yeah. Very nice, guys. Oh, well done, Rida. Very nice. Looking really good. <laughs> yeah. Lisa, oh, Lisa, well done. That is very nice. Oh. Oh, nice, Eva. Very, wow. They all look really good. Mm. Very nice, guys. <gasps> wow. I mean, uh, did you actually learn it now or you were doing before? It's like <laughs> so professional done. Wow. I just yeah. again it now. Ah, uh, really? It's the first time? That's really good for first time. Oh, you are good. Well done, Fernandes. Very nice. I remember, uh, Siona, uh, you came to our studio and I think you teach, uh, it was two years ago or three? Yeah. Two years ago, you teach uh, about this quilling to our students and you done a teddy. Is it? Oh, yeah, my I remember God. that. Oh my God, everybody, you know, kept it so nicely and safe. <laughs> it was so cute and small, Teddy. Yeah. So you can make anything, is it? Yeah, you can. It's just like basic shapes that make all these like complex kind of things. I'm just going to start making the next stem. Let's see if it fits your paper or not. It should be like a little bit longer this time because we are going to like kind of roll 
one side of it so that it curves into like a kind of coil. So just get your um, stick or hand, like get your hands ready and just roll it, but not fully, just kind of only even less than like halfway, just about here. Let go of it and just, it'll make like a loose kind of coil. And then just stick that like about there. So that'll be our stem and then we'll add like little heart shaped kind of leaves onto it. You just take one side of a coiled area, just put the glue on it. And then just stick it here. Take the end and then put glue on the last stem that we made so that it sticks to that. So it looks like it's the same in a way. Just like that. Just gonna wait a minute. Can you make three 3D objects, uh, Siona, from quilling? Um, I'm pretty sure you can. You can like kind of, if you get like, let's say the teddy bear, uh, you can make like a massive circle and then on top of that, you can put like in the middle, a smaller circle. You can put like eyes and stuff, which is even smaller circles. And then you can also make it stand somehow. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you can make it. Because I think I've seen some artists, some crafters, and they've done uh, boxes, like jewelry boxes made out of quilling. I can't remember names, but I think I've seen on uh, their pictures on, on Instagram. Um, yeah. yeah, it was, uh, so I think you can explore this craft as much as possible. You can make as yeah, many- Yeah, you things. can. It's, mm. Yeah, it's really interesting to, do. So after making the coil stem, uh, you just have to kind of make the same shape as a petal. So I'll just repeat that for you guys, just so you know how to do it. So wrap it around. Fully. And then take it out of a stick or if it's in your hands and just don't really do anything. Let go of it so it becomes bigger and loose. And get your glue and just put it on the edge of the paper. And stick it to the other part of the coil and then get two of your fingers and just pinch it and then that'll make your leaf shape so what you have to do for this one is a bit different so you have to make two of those leaf shapes you have to get the flat sides of both of them and just Stick them side by side so they kind of look a bit like a heart shape. 
So you just keep doing that as much as you can, probably about like two or three times, and then we can move on to the next part. So I'm just gonna put all the glue on half of the flat side and just stick it onto the stem. The other one, put the glue on it. And just stick it right next to the other leaf kind of shape. So it looks more like a little stretched out heart. I would love to receive a card like this. It would be amazing. <laughs> I think it's quite uh, uh, amazing, you know, to send to someone these handmade cards. It shows that you spend your time, you know, for that person. It's really interesting to make card yeah. quilling, from quilling. Yeah. It is. Again, you can use different colors um, for each of the, even the stem if you want to. This is like the art course, not that I would just in the whole lot of curiosity. Oh, what do you do? You put this, I don't know. What... Try to make um, both the leaves equal sizes so it looks symmetrical in a way. Do the same glue method again. Just keep putting it on the side and then stick it onto the stem. Just like that. Do the same on the other side. stick it on the other side of the stem. I'm just going to do one more and then wait and so then we can go on to the next the last part of the stem.
Do you know it's so unbelievable? One hour is already gone. <laughs> I mean, one hour already is like we just started. <laughs> Yeah, time so, is really fast now. Yeah, but I think when you, you are enjoying something, time is just flying. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I can't believe it. One hour. Wow. Just gonna wait for others if they're just finishing off or they're halfway through, just gonna wait for a while. Okay, then I'm gonna start the last part of the stem. So for this one, get like a really like kind of tiny piece, then both of them. Just stick it like a curve way, just like that, and your glue. You just trace the kind of glue or glue stick. The bent way, the, and just stick it on. If some of it's like coming out of the paper, then just cut it off or just rip it off. And just stick the last edge onto the stem again to make it look like it's coming out of that stem, the main one, just like that. I'm just gonna kind of rip off the last piece of bit that's coming out of the paper. And add some glue at the end so it sticks there too. This there. I think we have questions to slow down, but I think the speed is okay. <laughs> More slow than we can't, guys. 
<laughs> can if you want to, it's fine. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't think we can. Anyway, we are we are recording this session, so I'm going to send to everyone the YouTube link. So if you missed it, you receive by email the link for this session. Yeah. So, otherwise, I think it's fine, Siona. <laughs> I'll just wait a little bit for others to catch up if they haven't finished yet. So you have a bit more time. Meanwhile, I can see very nice work from Yanani. Well done, Yanani. She used uh, different colors for the leaves, which is really nice. Uh, if anyone else want to share, you can guys unmute and... Uh, I can show you my children. I sent my boys to do a a card for me. <laughs> so they done this one. <laughs> yeah, it's quite amazing, mostly because it's coming from boys. <laughs> so I do appreciate that. <laughs> yeah. I think I'll just start again to like just move on. So this time, um, I'll get another color. I'll get this. I hope you can see the color. It's not too light. So this time, what you have to do is just, again, make the leaf color. I will repeat it. Just make the leaf shape. But this time, you get your blue, and you put it on the pointy edge. Kind of twist it with your hands so it turns to be a bit twisty. We can't see Siona, so maybe if yes, no, again, yeah, because you just it, twist it this way, yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, so it looks a bit more like a teardrop. Just get the glue, put it on point, and then just stick it onto the stem. I'll repeat it again. You guys can get that. Again, make the leaf shape, wrap it around. Take it out, let it loose. Let the glue. And wrap it around. And what you do is you get a little point and just twist it. and stick it in this way. It's 
let's go on that point and a little bit on the paper if it doesn't stick properly and then just stick it on like that Here, a little bit on the stem if you want to, to make it stick better. And just stick it on. And just repeat that step as many times as you can most like most opposite to the other leaves that we've just made. Uh, Siona, how, question, how many petals should we do on the third? Do three on each side. So we learned so far, um, Siona, how to make from uh, quilling uh, circles, petals, leaves, uh, stems, flower stem, uh, teardrops. Oh, wow, Farnas, very nice. Um, really are any other things, or these are the basics one for this craft? Um, for this specific um, card kind of style, they, these are the basics. There are like more um, shapes. You can make like squares and stuff like that too. If you're making, for example, like cars or something like that, you can make the kind of square shape. I'm pretty sure you can make like triangles as well and things like that.
If you want to, um, if you have like more space on the stems, you can add more leaves and stuff. Like I'm gonna add just like one more little green one here. You can add like little buds, which will be like circles to the stems as well, just to make it look a bit more detailed. Very nice. I can see from Rida. Very nice. And it's amazing. You didn't have the visquilling paper, is it? You, you just cut stripes from diff, different wrapping paper. It was his one, not mine. I'm still doing it. Nice Your sister's. <laughs> wow, Amina, you are rolling this. Oh my goodness, amazing. I'll ask you. Very nice. Uh, let me unpin. Yeah, Amina. Can you, oh, can you show us again? Just show us again. Oh, look how nice. And you had a nice colorful uh, card in the background and look how nice it's done. Very it looks nice. really nice. Oh, oh Mina, you are amazing. Mm, yeah. Lisa, very nice. Oh, wow. And I like, Lisa, that some of your stripes are coming out of paper, you know, giving that 3D feeling. I love it. Wow. That's imagine, really nice, yeah. Yeah, imagine a Sakaar to send it to someone. Oh, I would be over the moon to receive <laughs> <laughs> something like this. <laughs> Very nice. I can see from uh, Arabia as well. Very nice. Wow. Oh, and each petal has different, different colors. Oh, so that looks nice. really good. Wow, guys. Very nice. Yanani as well. Very intricate, Yanani. Well done. Yeah. Sorry, from Rabia is Aisha. Yes, sorry, guys. <laughs> yeah, so from Aisha. It's a really nice craft to learn. Is uh, you know you can explore it as much as possible. Yeah. And what is amazing is that nothing can go wrong. <laughs> Everything comes out amazing, <laughs> which is the best thing, you know? <laughs> yeah, that's true.
So um, this this card is finished. So um, now there are like examples um, that I am gonna show you. Uh, Mary, can you screen share the examples? Yeah. 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 Sorry about the background. Uh, one second. So um, these are different examples that you can also make with quilling. As you can see right now, we're on like different flower shapes, just like kind of we've made right now. You can also um, kind of use both drawing with like pens and pencils and things like that, and kind of um, add quilling into that like you see these also have more different shapes um, the circles are more like closely rolled together in a little flower the one on the side you know this uh, in this one, the blue flower. How do you do in the middle? All of them look similar, like it's a nicely circle, but then one another is coming. I think the length of the um, strips are a bit more bigger, so then or they kind of like attach them, so it kind of comes in the middle while you're doing it. Okay. Very pretty. Yeah. Then like the teddy bear was here, like you can make, you can join different um, quilling strips of paper together um, from the edges yes. and you can extend them so they look so bigger. Amazing. So amazing. Extended. Yes. <laughs> This was, um, like I said, you can incorporate drawing while we're doing quilling and different pearls and things in the middle just to make it look a bit more nice. This is also um, different shapes. Like I said, you can make triangles, squares, ovals, and you can also kind of make like little twirly kind of bits the hairs and stuff. This is how we did for um, this stem. You just kind of do that and make a big circle. You can add your eyes in and then you can just make octopuses and different animals as well. Can you send us some examples, please? Uh, yeah. 
These are also for like um, cards and stuff. You can make these designs. These, um, you can put them on like string, like strips of paper for different like decorations for different festivals and stuff like that. And you can incorporate different shapes into those as well. And also you're gonna have to extend it. This is um, the candle and all the quilling around it like different designs also like the heart shape that was also made by extending the paper and just twirling the edges of those to make the um, heart so yeah i have some examples that i've made as well so i'm just going to bring those so i've made this Christmas tree before. Again, it was just kind of attaching the different strings of papers and also drawing like the whole um, wooden part of the tree. I use a loose scrolling method, just like we did for the stem, like I just showed you. Just twirl the um, edge of the paper so it will make like a coil and then just stick it on. Then I've made like a little card piece over here. It's coming out of the paper, like I said, it's like 3D kind of cards. It has like squares, um, circles. Also, what you can do is another technique, which is you can get one, like you can get two colors and you can use one of the colors. You can make a circle with it or like a triangle or whatever and you can get another um, different colored piece of paper and what you can do is you can attach that to the shape that i've already made so it has two colors like you can see um the black and the white they're both like attached to each other for the wheels then we have this peacock which is also like a drawing kind of quilling kind of method. So this whole part is kind of made by quilling and the top over here. And the rest is a storing. So that's how you can also make it look nice. The last one are actually um, earrings. So you can also make like different jewelries and accessories. You can also make it with like pins and stuff. I like hair clips and things like that. So this was also the kind of leaf shape and getting those earring um, hoop kind of things and just attaching that inside them. Also, I don't think you can see it, but I've added like little um, art and craft kind of um, beads to the end of them. So these are like all the things you can do with Pulling. Yeah, these are all the examples. That is amazing, uh, Siona. Thank you so much for this. You introduced us to a new craft. Um, I would like if guys, if you want to share with us your work, obviously you might not be finished, but you know, just what you started and I'm going to unpin Siona's video and if you can guys unmute yourself so you can come on the main screen would be really nice guys if you can share with us your work we really want to see <laughs> let's see yeah you like that we can see uh, Yanani very nice very nice Yanani I like the colorful little leaves. Very nice. Thank you so much, Yanani. Thank you. Yeah, and we can. Thank you. Thank you. We have Farnaz. Oh. Very nice, Farnaz. 
Thank you. Oh, I love it. Mm -hmm. I love it. Uh, yeah, Farnaz, you can uh, mute so we can have now the others. Uh, Hiba and Rida, guys, can you show us? Yeah. This is him. You this is this is Hibas. Yeah. This is Hibas. Move back. <laughs> and that's mine. Nice, nice Hibos, guys. Well, it's nice that you actually didn't had <coughs> you didn't had a quilling. So yeah, you just uh, yeah. Well done, guys. Uh, who else? Eva, can you un? Yeah. Yeah. Eva, can you show us? Yes, very nice. Let me just pin yours one second. Oh, look at that, so nice. I feel that you can introduce a text as well. You can write something on top. Oh, it's so nice, guys. Very nice. Uh, we have uh, Yusra. Let me pin yours. Oh, Yusra is amazing. You know, the colorful background, it really works. Very nice, guys. Really, really nice. Who else? You should yeah. also try to quill the stem. Yeah. Oh, yes. Oh. So it looks even more 3D. Very nice. 3D, yeah. Very nice. Uh, Amina, can you I guess. unmute yourself? Yeah, I mean, I can you unmute? Yeah, let's see. I'll pin yours. It is amazing. Ah. Yeah, I mean, can you show us? Oh, guys, look at this. Can anyone see Amina's? Oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> That's amazing. Wow. You should sell this work. I mean, something. You should make a, <laughs> a business out of this. Oh, wow. Guys, amazing. I put it in a frame. Very nice. Let me unpin yours. Um, <laughs> who else do we have? Um, Aisha, do you want to show yours? Let me pin. Oh, look at that, guys, well done. So you can introduce as well in, in your work some drawing or collage. Very nice, very, very nice, guys. Well done. I think it was an amazing workshop. Everyone learned something and created amazing artworks. Uh, share with us, please, your works uh on instagram or send us your emails um and uh, wait for our uh, e uh, feedback email tell us if you enjoyed what would you like to see next year do you want to learn something new related to art visual arts we really want to hear your views and um hopefully we'll be able to organize the same kind of event we have four more workshops is going to be tomorrow uh, set design. So we're gonna learn how the theater designers create the backstages and we're gonna make a small project. Uh, then we're gonna have a metal work. So we're gonna work on uh, pieces of uh, metallic paper. And uh, yes, I think we are gonna have two more workshops. Please visit our website artclassesgroup.com all the information is there. You can register with uh, one hour before each event. So you, you, have, you still have time to join the others. Thank you so much, everyone. And uh, Siona, you was amazing. You know, your patience and everything really, really helped us. Thank you so uh, much, Siona. I hope, I hope everyone enjoyed today's session. It was really nice. So guys, don't forget to share on Instagram. Yeah, we are art at artclassesgroup.com. And yes, yeah, see you hopefully in the last four sessions, guys. Thank you so much. See you guys. Thank you. Bye. 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 Thank you, everyone, for your lovely comments. Thank you. Thank you, guys.